Ready to work that tummy and get that core activated even a bit more? We're going to tackle mitten chop box today. So for mitten chop box, our feet are four fingers apart between the ball joints. Uh, if you're newer to T-tap, you might want to move that out to the hip ball joint width. But if you can do the closer stance, that would be great because it's going to work more core. Softly bend those knees, hand on belly, hand lower back. Big inhale, exhale belly button up and back. Tighten those buns. Inhale again. Exhale, stretch to get those ribs nice and tall. Shift weight back into the heels and off big toes. So you're not pushing out real invasively, just out a little bit. Mitten hand away. We're going to clap out first. Other mitten hand away. Full finger stretch, thumbs, thumbs to the back. Now I want you to think from your ankles all the way up to your hips to turn out those legs and up, up, up through thick mud. Shift weight back. Shake head no. Big inhale. Exhale as you clap for four. Clap thumbs back. Two, back. Three, back. Four, back. We're going to hinge from the hips and tilt forward. So keep that tummy in. It's a little more neutral here, but you don't just let it hang. Knees are still bent and out. So I'm going to turn more to an angle here so you can tell what I'm doing. So just a little bit of a neutral back and you're a little more neutral in your tummy. You're not tucking in real hard, but you're not letting it hang either. Does it make sense? So the outside edges of your karate chops or mitten chops, we're going to go just inside the hip bone there. Big inhale. Exhale in and squish together. So you're squishing into the body and center with the heels of your hands. Inhale again. Exhale down deep with those fingers. Hunch and shoulder roll up, up, up as you come up and press as you stretch those ribs up, keeping those knees out towards the little toe. Nice and tall. Shake head now. Inhale. Exhale. Keep stretching those thumbs. Shoulder roll back with that right. Tilt head left. Inhale. Exhale. Right knee out as you just tilt. Not collapse. Keep that shoulder back. Shake, shake the head. Inhale. Exhale. Press down as you stretch back up. Shoulder roll back. Inhale. Exhale. Right shoulder back. Tilt head. Tilt body. But you're not leaning. Okay. Just tilting. Keep those knees out. Shake, shake the head. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch those thumbs and really stretch the fascia as you come up. Shoulder roll both back. Then shoulder roll right. Last time. Inhale. Tilt. And then tilt all the way over. Shake, shake. And head. Exhale. Up, up, up. Center. And shoulder roll back. Pinch point those hands and we're going to shoulders up. Shoulders forward. I'm not dropping my ribs. Shoulders up and back. Up, forward, up and back. Two more. Up, forward, up and back. Last time. Up, forward, up and back. We get to hinge, hunch, tilt, and then shake those hands out. You're going to need it. <laughs> chop, chop. Inhale. Exhale, squish in. Fingers deep. Inhale. Exhale, bend a little deeper, shoulder roll up and back and stretch nice and tall. Shift weight back and off big toes. Shoulder roll the left back, tilt head right. Inhale. Exhale, tilt on over. Shake, shake out the head. Inhale. Exhale, press and stretch those thumbs as you come up. Shoulder roll back. Let's do both shoulders back first. Yeah. Now shoulder roll right back. Tilt right. Tilt the left shoulder. Shoulder roll left shoulder. Tilt right. I'll get it straight here. And then tilt all the way over. Inhale. Exhale, come up and center. Both shoulders back. Now we'll do it right. Shoulder roll the left back. Tilt right. Inhale. Exhale, come on over. Shake, shake. Inhale. Exhale, press and get up. And now let's do a shoulder roll back. And it's pinch points. And it's up shoulders, forward, up and back. Don't lose the core. Knees stay out. Tummy tight. Up, forward. Last time. Up, forward, up and back. So hunch, tilt forward. Shake out, wiggle those toes too. Last time we chop, chop. Inhale, exhale, squish. Inhale, fingers deep. Exhale, shoulder roll up, 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 and back. Stretch those thumbs, stretch nice and tall. Shift weight back and off big toe. Mitten hand away. Oh, that should feel good. Make sure it's reaching out. Pull that tummy in, mitten hand away. Now we're going to do clap out. So we're going to clap forward and just touch the fingertips. And then we're going to come back and just pretend like we're pressing a wall with mitten hands. So clap for two. Press for two. Knees are out. Tummy tight. Clap for two. Press for two. Clap for two. Now single. So it's clap. Reach away. Two. Keep those arms straight. Three. Away. There you go for more. Five. And away. Tummy is tight. We're not rocking and rolling. There you go. So mitten, mitten tall. Kick it out. Flick. This feels good because those legs are tired, aren't they? Six and seven and eight. Now jazz those hands as you lift and point that toe. Curl hunch. Weight and heels. Relax that head, shake head, no inhale. Exhale, knees out, shoulder roll up and back. Straight hunch up, ribs up. Ooh, that first part's called organs in place where we chop, chop, squish, and then we rolled it all up. And then the tilts go on into the box portion. 
just doing that first portion is really a powerful move for the tummy, especially if you have diastasis recti or a weak core. You really want to practice that throughout the day. You can do this move up to four times a day and not crash yourself, especially that first organs in place part. So I'd love to hear in the comments below. Did you like this? Were you able to understand it? Any questions you can ask there too. Any ahas, I'd love to hear that too.